Congresswoman Custer in the Democratic presidential primary, your friend and former House uh, seatmate, House committee seatmate, Beto O'Rourke, made a very dramatic call for gun control legislation, saying, quote, hell yes, we're going to take your AR-15, close quote. His call for confiscation drew cheers at last year's state Democratic Party convention. If Democrats take back the White House and Senate, how would you vote on a bill to outlaw and buy back the AR-15 and other so-called assault rifles? Well, John, you know that New Hampshire has a very strong tradition of gun ownership, and I certainly respect that. Responsible gun ownership. We have a tradition of hunting. We have a tradition of being outdoors, and people want to protect their families, and I feel strongly about that. The direction that I've gone in is responsible uh, gun reform that is related to background checks. It has very high approval by responsible gun owners and non-owners alike, and that's the direction that I think would be most important. We haven't had the bill that you suggest, so we need to take a look at that. Um, but at this point, I'm very comfortable with the positions that I've taken on just making sure that we have reform, uh, close the Charlestown loophole, the types of things that have led to these mass shootings that have been so tragic in elementary schools, kindergarten students, all the way up through to churches. Thank you. And Mr. Negron, you've called for laws that empower gun owners. So what is your solution to keeping guns out of the hands of, severely ment of the severely mentally ill or dangerous people? Absolutely, John. You know, um, and I've said this once and I'll say it again, this issue when we have these horrific accidents, it's not the instrument that's the issue. The issue is the mental health of those folks. And we talked about it earlier. This pandemic that the Democrats want to keep us in our homes is going to exacerbate that problem. There are going to be people out there that are mentally unstable and they need the help and we need to provide that help for them. But it's not the gun, John. It's not the gun. As a matter of fact, there's a bill in front of Congresswoman's committee right now, 5717, that hasn't even hit the streets, that they're going to put a 30 percent tax on all guns sold here in New Hampshire and a 50 percent tax on all ammo sold in New Hampshire. But that's not the thing that's so onerous. They want to start a national registry so that you have to register your firearm so that the government knows exactly who owns weapons. And let me tell you this, they tried this after Sandy Hook and they tried that in New York. And the New York paper posted where every gun owner lived on a map and they had to be forced to take it down. So no, she needs to know, Congresswoman needs to know that this is New Hampshire where responsible gun owners, we don't need any more legislation. Congresswoman, 30 seconds to respond. I just know that the polling is that the citizens of New Hampshire agree with me on responsible uh, gun reforms such as background checks and closing the Charlestown loophole. I've not yet met a responsible gun owner who wants to contribute to this level of violence in our society. And we do have background checks. I don't know where they say there's no background checks. You have to have a background check before you buy a firearm. So I really like somebody to tell me what background check they're talking about.